first, we need to start with what is a real-time collaboration from a design, from a user experience point of view. So what is it? So we've seen this a bit earlier, but this, this is this idea of we have like multiple users working on the same document at the same time. But first, you need to have a single user application, the same features as for the single user application. And then only you will add additional features for real-time communication. Okay? So how are we going to do that? So here, from a technical point of view, we are going to see the problem modelization. So how does it look like? It's one model, and it's actually quite good. So we are going to say that the model needs to meet like those three properties, and we are going to see each of them after. So there is convergence, user intention preservation, and finally, causality preservation. So what is convergence? Let's say that we have two users, user one and user two, and they start with some text, a piece of text, with just A, B, C. Then let's say that user one is inserting an X before A, okay, and user two is, is, is inserting a Y between B and C. Convergence is going to express that if they stop editing their documents, at some point of time, they will reach the same document state, okay? So this is convergence. Now, what is user intention preservation? So let's uh, take another user and the same piece of text, A, B, C. And let's say again that this user wants to put a Y between B and C. User intention is going to express that after some edits, his initial intent here for Y to be B and C is preserved. On the left side, for example, we can see that the Y disappeared the user intention was lost, okay? And on the right side, the Y is here, but it is not between B and C. User intention was lost. Finally, um, to express causality preservation, we are going to look at three users. So let's say that user one is asking the question, hey, how are you? Then user two is seeing the question and is replying, I'm good. If user three First, see I'm good before the question, we don't, have, we don't preserve causality. He first needs to see the question before he sees the answer. This is uh, how you express causality preservation. So, um, this is a way to model the problem, and then now we obviously have problem constraints. The first problem we have is that we want a reactive user interface. Okay, so what does it mean? It means that if I edit the documents, I probably don't want to see, uh, to wait for one second before seeing actually the result of my edits. I want it to be reactive. And typically we want this to happen around or less than 100 milliseconds. And then we have a physical constraint, which is speed of light, meaning that for information to flow back and forth from two, uh, two opposite locations in the world, this is going to take 200 milliseconds. This is an idea, okay? So we see that we want a reactive user interface around or less than 100 milliseconds. And at the same time, the time for information to flow back and forth is going to take something like 200 milliseconds. So we've got like some kind of problem. So this problem is not new, obviously, and a very solution for that, which are typically optimistic replication. And we want this to happen concurrently. So what is optimistic replication? This is the idea of having a local replica, a local copy of your documents. In this case, this means that when you are going to make an edit, you are going to apply it directly onto your local version of the document, okay? So that the edit can be almost instantaneous. And then after, you are going to send the changes to the other people on the network. So, and for the concurrence, the idea is the following. So here I'm showing uh, how locking looks like. So for example, we can consider two users. User one and user two want to edit the documents, but they are using locking. So this means that if user two wants to edit the document, he will need to wait for user one to unlock it. Okay, this is not what we want. What we want is not, not to have lock, so that it can edit the document at the same time. 
And if you think about it, this is quite very similar to the way, uh, I guess there's a lot of developer, developer here, that we use system threads, where there was like old techniques, like Metex, for example, and we are all going into favor of compare and swap techniques, typically lock-free architecture. Lock-free architecture has a future, and we need to use less and less Metex. This is exactly some of the same idea.